Hello, everyone, and welcome to the WordPress Briefing, the podcast where you can catch quick explanations of some of the ideas behind the WordPress open source project and the community around it, as well as get a small list of big things coming up in the next two weeks. I'm your host, Josefa hayden Champosi. Here we go. I've been asked many times what the day-to-day work looks like for the executive director of the WordPress project, and I don't really think I've done a great job of answering that question. My default answer is either too broad, and I say, I help turn the WordPress vision into reality by supporting the community of contributors, or way too narrow, and I start telling people what's on my calendar. Probably no one really cares about each entry on my calendar, and almost every contributor is covered by, I get things done by helping people. So today, I invite you to join me in exploring the type of work required and the balance it takes to keep WordPress working. First, some context on the weekly activity I see in WordPress. On average, 1,800 to 2,000 contributors a week participate in conversations and tickets across the entire WordPress project, across our entire ecosystem. There are about 20 volunteer teams that are each led by two to three team reps. Um, And each of those teams actually have smaller groups that work on specific things. All told, it's probably about 50 distinct teams um, and probably quite a few more if you are very generous in your counting about what makes up a team for us. Among those teams, a minimum of about 35 meetings a week are held, plus more for working groups. That doesn't take into account the things most people are aware of externally. It doesn't take into account the big quarterly or annual activity, things like WordPress software releases or any of our events. Uh, But when those sorts of things do happen, there's a bit of an increase in our activity. I work 40 to 60 hours a week on WordPress, depending on what's going on, to make sure that I know what's happening now and that I have insight into what the next three to five years will bring. And all of that is in support of the WordPress community, which I define as anyone who has ever interacted with WordPress ever, regardless of whether they know it or not. In case you're feeling a bit lost right now, we can shorthand that entire context as This is really big and really complex. Given that giant scope, it makes sense that people wonder what the work looks like. So I'll talk about it in in three big chunks, kind of. What I focus my time on, what I focus my attention on, and what helps me to balance my decisions. So first, what I focus my time on. I spend about a quarter of my time in meetings, mostly with current contributors, project leadership, and community members. And I spend another quarter of my time in WordPress community outreach, checking in with current folks, reaching out to future WordPressers, and and checking in with people that I haven't heard from in a long time to make sure that I know what they need and if there's anything that I can do to help. After that, I spend a bit under 15% of my time each on writing and communications work, or ad hoc project work, just things that have to get done and that I need to be able to do. And then I spend 10% of my time reviewing proposals, editing communication drafts for others, and determining my stances on discussions that we're having in tickets and elsewhere. All of my remaining time I spend on planning for various goals, projects, initiatives, and also personally working to remove blockers for our volunteer contributors. So the bulk of my time, about 50% or more, is spent in calls with people, which makes sense if you've ever worked with me. Personal connections with the community have been the best part of my job for a really long time. And since the community is what makes WordPress so great, it's only natural that I want to stay connected. The second big chunk is what I focus my attention on. I pay attention to four big pillars of work in the project. The first one is the WordPress CMS itself. So that's the core team, accessibility, design, and many, many others. The second one is uh, the WordPress community, and that's the training team, everybody who is working on the Learn initiative, and the actual community team as well. 
the third big pillar that I focus on is the WordPress contributor experience, which is mostly the meta team, and, but also includes all of the teams that they work with, teams like plugins, themes, polyglots, etc. And then the fourth big pillar that I turn my attention to is our communication. What I am saying about the WordPress project to people outside of it, what I am helping our team reps to say about the work that we're accomplishing for the WordPress project inside the project, and generally anything where we have to make sure that we coordinate our very, very big group of contributors all around a common idea or a common practice as we move forward. Now, the way I focus both my time and attention probably isn't quite right if you're focused on a single feature or team. And it's definitely not right if you aren't spending 40 hours a week in the project. What that probably looks like for you is more like an hour in a team meeting, 30 minutes or so on clarifying conversations, and any remaining time that you are able to contribute focused on the feature that you're actually contributing to. And so <laughs> there you have it, all my time and attention. That is WordPress in a nutshell, which brings us to the third chunk, the balance part what I do to balance my decisions. You might be wondering how I make sure I am fair and balanced in decisions that I have to make. That is something that I think about all the time and I take very seriously. It's hard to make decisions that might affect 2000 people, but it's even harder when those decisions might affect 40% of the web. I know that I don't have all the answers, and I'm fortunate enough to have 50 or 60 people in the community who offer me advice and guidance every single week. I'm in constant contact with the project lead, of course, but I also prioritize messages and concerns raised from team reps, and I always strive to understand before I try to problem solve. I don't always get it right, but I do always work to get better. And that is the day-to-day -day work of a WordPress executive director. And that brings us to our community highlight. I tweeted out into the community asking for excellent examples of freelancer success stories. And today I'm going to share a story from Arunya Luisa. Their story goes like this. For almost a decade, freelance WordPress gigs allowed me to support myself and my family and keep my full-time teaching position at the local college, which was paying peanuts, but was an awesome, meaningful, and fulfilling thing. I am sincerely grateful for that. That brings us to our final segment of this brief podcast, the small list of big things to keep an eye out for in the next two weeks in WordPress. I actually only have two things this week. The first one is daylight saving time. It is that time of year where daylight saving time starts or stops at various parts in the globe. <laughs> and so if you are a team rep here at WordPress, don't forget to talk to your teams in your meetings in the next few weeks uh, to decide what you're going to do. You can move your team meeting if you want. You can keep it where it is and see what new voices show up when it moves around for various people. But either way, make sure that you chat it out with your team and make sure that everybody understands what is and isn't moving on your calendar. For what it's worth, that is also going to be relevant to any of our brand new work from home folks in the middle of this global pandemic. And the second thing to share is that there is a major release of WordPress coming up. That's going to happen on March 9th. It is WordPress 5.7. Uh, it's going to be a good release. We've been working on it since, I think, probably December or maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, and so keep an eye out for announcements about that here on wordpress.org slash news. Or if you want to follow more about the developer details and the process details, you can head on over to make.wordpress.org slash core. So that, my friends is your small list of big things. Thank you for tuning in today for the WordPress briefing. I'm your host, Josefa Hayden Champossi, and I'll see you again in a couple of weeks. <music>